It's usually about this time of year, actually, where there's not a lot of work going on and the weather's crap, and he gets really bummed out by that, and so he's locked in his little apartment and gets bad ideas. He took my cat and held it in front of his crotch. He literally did bring them into the supermarkets and put them back on the shelves. He put them up like rock show flyers on all the telephone over poles. town. And he's putting these things around to see people's reaction when they see him. And he's having a better time with it than any of us. I'm sure that they're in a pub or two in England. I'm sure that they're in Spain. Um, I think there's one in Hong Kong. I've heard tale of them being up and down the western seaboard, maybe small pubs and taverns. That's the genius of it, it's stick it someplace and make people notice. And then there's something different about this, and then you look at it closely and there it's Matt. It makes the first time you see it that much more fun. It's even creepier because it's in her you know, childhood bedroom that hasn't changed when I owed it, but all of a sudden there's Matt with his cat. In the children's section of a video store. At eye level. <laughs> For a five-year-old, <laughs> genius. What it all boils down to is someone who's just super creative that's really bored. But he went to school for art for a while, and I think probably it gave him the freedom to not, not to take everything, take life so seriously. He had the courage not only to put this picture of him and that cat out, but to so use his number. real phone number. Most of the phone calls he got for the reward were from like gay men. We'd be out and, you know, somehow the conversation would come up. Have you seen, you know, that poster of that guy? You know, people talk about these things. They just, they're, they're part of our culture. I think wanting to be famous isn't an uncommon thing. Or to leave a mark on the world before you leave it, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty common thing. And I think he's just doing it very practically. I think his medium is a little bit different than what, how we think of traditional art in paintings, in photographs, or any other variety of art, but I think it's just as valid as a body of work as anyone else's.